Do you notice anything odd about this rifle? Nah, me neither. Yeah, of course you do. It's a lefty. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this video is going to be me moaning about what it's like to be a lefty. So, half my viewers have just pressed stop and obviously gone to watch another Rack and Load video because this one won't apply to them. But you lefties that are still here, I think you might like this, I think you might feel my pain and if you do, you know, just drop a comment in the uh, in the comments down below like because I want to hear what really annoys you about being a left-handed shooter. So right, first of all, well let's just quickly tell you about this and then we'll, uh, I'll sort of roll in with uh, what I'm going to moan about. This is, you've seen this in videos anyway, this is Remington 700, full left hand in Accuracy International stock, uh, Vortex Viper HST 6024x50 Harris bipod. That's the gun. Anyway, let me moan. I need to moan. Right then, things that annoy us, me, rack and load about being left handed. Maybe not so much about being left handed, about the problems we have being left handed. First of all, right, and this has got to be the number one annoying thing about being a lefty, is when you want a new rifle and you order a brand new one, as soon as you mention left hand, all of a sudden the price shoots straight up. Ain't that annoying? Yeah, I get it, it's down to machining costs and stuff like that, you know, they've got to completely reverse everything when they make a lefty rifle. Yeah, I get that, but do we really have to pay for it? Just because we're born this way? Really? Anyway, that is probably my number one gripe. But, <laughs> kind of sort of on the same, same sort of thing of that is basically when you get into a gun shop, gun dealer, it's kind of annoying as well when you basically say to the, uh, the gun shop owner that you're a lefty, you can kind of sort of almost hear them sigh or their eyes roll into the back of their heads or they quite blatantly just put their face in their hands, you know, because you've just told them that you're a lefty and then they're like, mmm, scratching their head and, you know. So that's pretty annoying as well. This, by the way, guys, is just like a tongue-in-cheek video. It's a bit of fun, but I'm getting my moan across and getting my moan across for the lefties. So, that's kind of like a two. I've got half a dozen of my moans and that's kind of like two in one. So price hike and when you go to the dealer, the local dealer, they sort of get, not annoyed with you, but they sort of, um, what's the word? Just, well, they just roll their eyes at you. Anyway, next one, and this is a bit of a gripe for me. Shooting benches when you're at a club. Now, a lot of modern clubs now have like the tea benches, I call them sort of tea benches. Um, I'll throw in a picture. They're called because they're sort of ambidextrous, ambidextrous uh, benches, so you can quite easily shoot on that. But clubs, one or two clubs where I go, where they're mainly right-handed benches, the way they're shaped, the wooden benches, you know, and you, as soon as you get there, you're sort of scratting round for a left-handed bench. That's a bit annoying. So club owners, if you're watching, which you should be, make some more left-hand benches, yeah? Because there are more than like three of us out there. Just look at the views on this video, hopefully, you know. There's quite a, quite a few of us out there. Then, number three, that's the club benches. So yeah, and clubs, uh, I've got number six is a competition disadvantage, but I'll go into that one. That's my last one, but we'll go into that one later on. So that'll sort of tie in with clubs. So number three is ambidextrous controls on guns, okay? A lot of AR-15s have ambidextrous controls or are able to have ambidextrous controls fitted to them. That is cool. I find a lot of rifles, um, especially centerfire rifles uh, and sort of box-fed uh, shotguns, 
tend not to have ambidextrous controls. Uh, I find that annoying a little bit. Um, AR-15s, yeah, Brill. A designated um, left hand rifle, obviously Brill is going to be sort of catered for us. So I, I think firearms are lagging behind a little bit when you compare them to air guns. Now air gunners and air gun manufacturers get an absolute win in my book as far as ambidextrous rifles go because a lot of air guns these days now have a total ambidextrous stock, no cheap piece or like a dual cheap piece if that's what you call it, basically an ambidextrous one, one either side of the stock. I really do think the air gun world have really grasped the ambidextrous stroke left hand market. Um, that is brilliant in my book. Uh, as you know guys, if you're subscribed to the channel and if you're not, hit that subscribe button with your left hand by the way. Um, a lot of air guns that I've reviewed are ambidextrous and I really do think it's great because me as a reviewer, as a reviewer when I can say it, if I get a right-handed gun come in, like say for example a right-handed thumb hole, you know, a real sort of right-handed thumb hole, I struggle, struggle to shoot it, especially with me being left-eyed dominant as well. So it's it's a bit of a struggle. But yeah, I know people will say, well, you've got to buy, uh, you know, a right-handed gun, blah, blah, blah. When I'm reviewing them and testing them, uh, I don't buy them because I'd be absolutely bankrupt now if I bought all the guns that I've tested so far uh, on this channel. Uh, I bet you it's getting on for half a million quid's worth where we're at now, eight years in to rack and load. But anyway, that's another story. Um, so yeah, air gunners and air, air gun manufacturers really have grasped the ambidextrous stroke left hand um, market, so to speak. That kind of brings me on to ball pops. Now, I know there's not a great deal of uh, firearm ball pops. Um, there's one or two, two, two rim fire ones, but uh, I've not really had much dealings with them, so I can't really comment. Um, but ball pops, um, basically, a, one or two of them that I've used, totally impossible for a left hander, okay? because you've got your cheek where the cocking lever is um, and it's just totally uncomfortable, yeah? Apart from, and there's one or two companies that are so, you know, getting this sorted out now. Um, Daystate, for example, brilliant. You can totally swap their ball pups around to left or right hand, you know, in a matter of minutes. Yeah, I've got a video on that somewhere. If I can dig it out, I'll throw it in, throw it in the corner of this video, but um, just look for it in the playlist. But yeah, like the ball, the um, Daystate pul Pulsar, uh, for example, totally swap that round, so it's totally and utterly ambidextrous. You swap the cocking lever round, the cheek piece, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But generally, Ball pups like uh, there's the odd FX ball pup like the Wildcat. It's a little bit problematic if you're a lefty. I'm not sure if they do left-handed versions. I'm pretty sure they don't. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I find those a bit of a problem. In a nutshell, ball pups. If you cannot configure them to left-handed. So anyway, that's that. Moving on, and this is quite a funny one. I'll throw in some footage of this. I've got, I think I've got quite a bit of footage of this happening to me, but I'll throw in, uh, I think I've got one where I'm using a Wolf, I uh, forget what it was now. Two two rim fire anyway. Um, hot brass, okay. Uh, this, this is quite a funny one. Hot brass hitting your arm. So as a lefty, obviously you're sort of holding it like that. The ejector's usually on this side with it being a right-handed gun. You get the brass hitting your arm, as you can sort of see here. Um, yeah, and it can be hot. You can get the odd burn. Yeah, fair enough. Not only that, um, a lefty tends to get the brass going across their face as well um, because, you know, 
the ejector on the uh, right hand side of the rifle is obviously, obviously pretty much eye level so you're getting brass sort of flying across your face and hopefully not into your mouth uh, which is a bit of a pain um, especially with shotguns now not so much with the 2-2 rim fires you know um, and straight pulls um, not really a problem um, sort of sort of going off on a tangent here straight pulls and that, I'm going like straight pull center fires for example and air guns where like the side lever cocking lefties do actually have a bit of an advantage because you basically haven't got to take your your eye out of the scope so to speak so you can basically keep your keep your bead on the target so to speak and just rack either the um, the cocking lever or the uh, charging handle or what, whatever it is you're shooting so a kind of um, an advantage being a lefty I think I I got a record once for not a world record or anything it was just like the, uh, the record between sort of friends back then I think I've done a um, I forget what it was now it's like um, a timed shoot basically with um, a Virac uh, HW100 um, where it's basically you shoot eight targets and you're against the clock uh, it's one of these ones where you as soon as you hit, hit the first target the timer goes you hit the last one the timer stops I had a great advantage where I could basically just pull the trigger cock it pull the trigger cock it pull the trigger cock it basically as fast as that and you know so that's where there is a lefty left-handed advantage so faster follow-up shots on some rifles UK legal straight pulls obviously because we can't have semi-automatic uh, centerfire rifles so we have straight pulls um, again you haven't really got to take your eye off the bead as far as charging it um, it depends it depends how far you've got to sort of pull the the charging handle back so to speak so yeah that's a little bit of an advantage but mm, nothing really to sort of write home about but anyway going back to like my hot brass uh, subject um, with shotguns it becomes quite problematic um, I've found um, with like semi-automatic shotguns not so much with pump actions you know you can tend to sort of move your face out of the way a little bit when you're sort of um, you know racking it pumping it um, semi-autos obviously you've got no choice as soon as you pull the trigger it's spitting a empty case out across your face yeah it can be distracting um, more so the not so much the the actual um, cartridge spent case flying across your face I found powder burns across your face that tends to be more of a disadvantage <laughs> more of a distraction than anything um, and I find myself as a lefty more and more now um, wearing wearing eyes basically when uh, when I'm shooting semi-auto be it 2 2 rim fire or a shotgun a because of the brass occasionally hitting your face not very often it does happen though but more so with the uh, the powder burns across your face and I've had that quite a few times and it's not pleasant, I can tell you. You writers have got it really good, I tell you. You don't have any of that crap. Um, and then that kind of brings me on to competition disadvantage. Now this sort of swings back to my uh, number two where I was sort of on about club benches. Let's basically talking about clubs. You do three gun, PSG, um, mini rifle, anything like that. You lefties, if you ever notice that a course or a stage is set up for right-handed shooters, yeah, all right. Occasionally, you'll have to shoot offhand, so basically, the right-handers will have to shoot left-handed, you know, just to throw in a bit of a mix there. But generally, the whole stage sort of goes from left to right, if that makes sense. Kind of like. Uh, an advantage for you righties, don't you think? And a disadvantage to us lefties. So I've noticed that in a lot of stages that I've done in PSG, you know, it's set up for set up for righties, and you find yourself, you know, needing to be double jointed, sort of shoot round 
corners and through windows and doorways and stuff like that. So you writers, you need to set up a stage left-handed or do it left-handed basically and you'll, you'll feel our pain. So yeah, anyway guys, that is it. It's just a bit of a fun video. I just wanted to throw out a few of my gripes about being a lefty. Uh, you guys will feel my pain, I'm sure you will. Um, give me a thumbs up, a left-handed thumbs up guys if you like this. It was just, just a bit of a fun video just to get my, get my gripes across, you know. Um, it does bug us lefties, all these uh, subjects that I've kind of covered. It bugs us, so you writers, pay attention. Manufacturers, pay attention. And clubs, pay attention. Because we are out here. I ain't the only one. There's one or two more. Anyway guys, that's Rack and Load. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with your left hand, like I said earlier. That's Rack and Load. See ya.